What's going on YouTube? It's Lieutenant Cade, also known as Alvin the Director. And in today's video series, we're going to be talking about the hand release push-up. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I'm doing the ACFD series. All right, so in the first video, we talked about the three rep maximum deadlift. In the last video, we talked about the standing power throw. And today, we're going to be talking about the hand release push-up. Now, I'm at LT stationed up here at Fort Wainwright, Alaska. On this channel, I post military videos, I post fitness videos, and lifestyle videos. So if you're into that kind of stuff, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so as I mentioned, um, the hand release push-up is the third event in the ACFT. And to me, it is the easiest event to pass. Not the easiest event to max, but definitely the easiest event to pass. So we're going to talk about some tips that you can use to pass your hand release push-up. What's the tactical significance of the hand release push-up? So being able to have that upper body endurance can um, help you out a lot in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as um, you know pushing a heavy object like moving vehicles in the motor pool and things of that nature. It's just a, um, a good you know test for you know upper body strength and upper body endurance. Now, besides the two-mile run, this is the most similar event to the APFT where we did just the regular push-ups and the hand release push-up. It's a little bit different. The max is only 60 push-ups, so it's a little bit different than the APFT where you had you know your standards based on your age age and also your gender and you had to do a lot more push-ups and you have to do hand release push-ups in order to max. How can you get better at the hand release push-up? Well it's pretty simple. You don't need any equipment at all. All you have to have is yourself. Now what I like to do, I've never not you know got that perfect score on you know doing push-ups. It's just something that I really like to do and I feel like I'm pretty good at it. So you don't need you know a lot of you know crazy videos and workouts and things like that to um you know max out your push-ups or to just pass it in general. I like to tell people, um, just hit a, a number that you can actually pass. I don't too much care about you maxing out, you know, your push-ups. That's great. It's awesome. But, you know, that's not for everybody. Everybody doesn't want to max out their push-ups because it's not, you know, an exercise for everyone, you know? So, I want to teach you how to pass your push-ups. And like I said, it doesn't take anything but yourself. Now, for me, I love watching Netflix on the weekends, right? And, you know, when I sit down and watch Netflix, I don't want to just watch one episode. I want to watch like two, three, four episodes. I want to sit there, binge watch, and do nothing on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, so what I like to do, because I know that I need to be doing some kind of, you know, exercise. And, I, you know, I'm always trying to push myself to be a little bit better than I was the day before. So in order to stay tight, stay strong, um, I like to do, you know, push-ups in between each episode. So with the hand release push-ups, I like to hit a number that I know for a fact that I can um, hit every single time and it feels effortless, right? So for me, I like to do 50 hand release push-ups after each episode now for me hand release push-ups I'm pretty good at them but I also want to make sure that I hit a number like 15 which I know for a fact I can hit after every episode I don't think much about it and I'm not gonna knock it out in about 30 seconds and you know it feels like I didn't do any work so I like to hit that number because it, it, it again it doesn't feel like it's any work so whether that number is only two hand release push-ups or ten regular bomb um, push-ups so make sure that you're hitting a number every single time that you know for a fact that you can hit you know without any hesitation and it doesn't feel like you're breaking a sweat now if you do that consistently if you do that after every episode say three or four and let's use a number like ten because, um, you know, I'm, I'm bad at math, right? So if you watch four episodes, right, on Netflix, that's about four hours that you're spending, you know, watching TV. That's pretty normal for a lot of people on the weekends, just, you know, being lazy. Um, so that's 40 hand release push-ups that you just did on one Saturday. If you do that again on Sunday, that's 80 that you just did. So over that whole weekend, you knocked out 80 push-ups, and you're 80 push-ups closer to um, reaching that goal. Now, it, it's not a lot of push-ups at all. You're not going to feel, you know, that you're getting a lot stronger, or um, you might not feel like you actually got a good workout in, but it's the reps that matter, and it's, um, you know, building up that muscle memory. So you're constantly doing those push-ups after each episode, and you're slowly building up to, um, get to that goal that you're you want to reach for the ACFT now I'm gonna also put the minimum requirements for the ACFT for the hand release push-ups in here and next I'm gonna demonstrate what the hand release push-up should actually look like with the hand release push-up the only authorized rest position is in the up position unlike the old PT test where you able to like sag in the middle or raise your butt in the air that is a no-go for the ACFT with the hand release push-up Again, the only authorized position is the up position which is also called the front leaning rest and with the hand release push-up one thing that I do whenever I get tired um, and it's typically towards, you know, when I get, you know, close to my max, is as long as you're making a continuous effort to move, the repetition will still count. So if you're tired, you can go as slow as you want to go. But remember, you only have two minutes to execute as many hand release push-ups as you can. To me, what I've seen and also what I've experienced whenever I do my hand release push-ups is typically when I start, you know, kind of, I would say cheating the system is I'll go a lot slower, but that also means that, you know, I'm almost at 
um, I wouldn't say muscle failure, but almost at the end of the amount of push-ups that I can actually do. You know, I'm tired. Um, use that as, you know, something that can help you out a little bit if you just want to knock out an extra, you know, push-up or two, um, you know, to count towards your overall score at the end. Go um, a little bit slower and, you know, you won't burn out as much. All right, so to recap, you know, with the hand release push-ups, if you want to get better, you know, everyone has their own goal in their head of what they want to do, right? Everyone doesn't want to pass um, with the 100%. Some people, you know, are fat satisfied with only doing, you know, 10 hand release push-ups or 25 or 35, or whatever that number is, just make sure that, you know, you're actively working towards getting better and um, doing whatever you can to um, best pass the ACFT whenever it comes time um, to actually take it. What I do doesn't have to be what you do, but again, remember, you don't have to do a bunch of crazy exercises and things like that that you see on the internet or on YouTube in order to pass your hand release push-ups. It's very simple. It doesn't take a lot of effort into it. Knock out a couple in between each episode and knock out a couple in the morning or in the evening before you go to bed and I promise you'll be good to go. If you like this type of video, make sure you share it with a friend. And again, I'm doing an ACFT series right now, so I'm going to be doing all the events in the ACFT and talking about how you can best improve on them and how you can get better as a soldier athlete. If you have questions specifically about the ACFT, about anything that I've covered um, in the past videos or anything that you want me to cover in the future, be sure to leave those in the comments below. I want to answer all your questions. So be sure to share this content with a friend. I'm Alvin, the director, and I'm out.